And from there, we move to other matters. National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency, Nostra, says it will not relent in its efforts of sensitizing youth and community leaders. That's the overnight incessant pipeline vandalization and oil spill in the Niger Delta. According to the agency, over 1,000 oil spills are being recorded yearly in the region. This has been responsible for the environmental damage and the ill health of the people in the region. It was a meeting of community stakeholders, civil society groups and youths in the Niger Delta to deliberate on, or deliberate on the way forward to reduce and stop pipeline vandalization and oil spill in the region. Presentations were made and questions asked on the way the duo are still experienced in the region, despite efforts put in to ensure the stoppage. Director General of Nostra Idris May, represented by the Director Asset Safety and Mitigation, Dikbo Banoa, he said there's need for continuous advocacy in sharpening the minds of the people on the dangers of the act. Women are more impacted. Uh, it affects their livelihood, it affects their health, it affects uh, access to water, access to clean water. So discussions like this, they should be involved. So there is need, even when we say, let's stop the bull fire, but let's look at what are the alternatives, what are the options, since people are seeing this as alternative means of livelihood, as a means of generating income. Youths are talking about high rates of youth unemployment. So solutions also will have to include alternatives, means of earning income. And then this is capital intensive and it's also giving them big money. The bunkery activities as a result of long-time neglect, where the companies have failed in its uh, uh, corporate social responsibility, where the communities lack a lot. Most of, the, uh, most of our community persons have nothing to feed with. Why they marry? They go with uh, posho cars and all the rest. Parading security upon security that they spend millions of naira on daily basis. If those money are being channeled to the communities, do you think such thing would have? Some of them are looking for 30,000 to feed with, and they have nothing. Our concern now, government is paying much money to see that the Ogoni environment is clean. But we are talking about the after effects. If government is not making provisions for this ex artisans it may pose another tension. One of the things we are doing as a government agency is to sensitize the people, to enlighten them on the dangers inherent in this pipeline vandalism. If you look at the presentation, if you listen to the presentation that we had in the venue, about 72% of the oil spills in Nigeria are caused by third party interference, which is uh, called uh, that leads to pipeline vandalism and so on. So if we're able to enlighten the people on the risks involved in this pipeline vandalism, perhaps the figures will drop drastically. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.